All right, why don't we jump into game number one? Uh, the way I'm going to do this is probably break down my games into discrete chunks. So maybe do three games a video or something like that. All right, playing Kyan Kinlo. Hi, puppy. Look at all these golems. Look at all these golems. I can get rid of this for now. There's, uh, there's no reason I need this. I do want this one, though, because I'll probably be able to curve into that. And I'm going to keep the uh, Sky Burial for a way to interact if you play something really obnoxious. No, stop it. Chai's been parking too much, so we put her bark collar back on her. I know. PETA, come to her rescue, please. I'm going to keep uh, Ephemeral Shroud just to... Oh, oh. Oh, real raggy. <laughs> hmm. That's sort of a weird way to place that. Uh... I was planning on putting the Skywing down, but I can't put it in a spot where it won't immediately get hit by this Wings of Mechazor, so I don't know what I should do. I mean, I can come up here and like put it here, but then I don't get to hit the, the Wings of Mechazor, which seems kind of silly. I'd really like to... really like to play it, though, rather than the Silver Guard Knight. Uh, okay, my opponent just conceded. I guess they were waiting for me to do something and got tired. Off to a good start, though. Yeah, just... <laughs> just do that. <laughs> just do that. <laughs> Maybe they thought they had disconnected and then they accidentally closed out the client, but in doing so, they inadvertently uh, quit or conceded the game. I don't know. That was sort of funny. Okie dokie. This is going to be good. So, man, what do I get rid of here? Play two drop into four drop or four drop. I've got this five drop I can play. I don't mind keeping this around. I also don't mind getting rid of it. And the question is really, do I throw away this divine bond? So like, it's just slightly too early for me to want to like go crazy with this. So I think I am going to get rid of it. It's so powerful, but again, realistically, when am I playing this card? I'll, I'll keep this Dagger Kiri, though. Probably throw this away. If we were on the this side, we'd keep it, but it's hard to get six mana, in my opinion. Oh, hello. Oh, man, what do I do here? Do I play out Veil Hunter? I kind of want to put it here and just play it out, yeah. And then I can move it back if need be, or if I really want to, move it up here. Uh, and then play like Arrow Whistler here and shoot something. We'll see. Ah, got the old golem back. Fate was right. I like this guy's name. Just a alphanumeric series. 12, 14, 91. Maybe that's when he was born. But then there's all this other gobbledygook. 39, 18, 31? That doesn't make sense. Maybe that's his uh, credit card number. <laughs> ah. Halfway hoping he would concede. Yun. Okay. So this is a good example of why this is so powerful. So I'm going to come here. Place Arrow Whistler here, come forward and kill this guy. Uh, is there anything else I want to be doing? Probably need to get rid of the Storm Metal Golem. We just don't have. We're not going to have the mana to play it. I don't love the fact that this is what's happening. Putting my range units real close to his general. Um, but it's the only way I could do that. I guess I could have just taken 10, but then this would not be able to be played and I couldn't run out Air Whistler. So what happens now? What happens now? Chromatic Cold on my uh, Tutu. That kills that unit. And Altered Beast on my 2-4. Okay. Uh, 
interesting that he would attack me like that. So what do I do here? Probably just want to play his dagger, Kiri. Uh, if it survives, it is going to run roughshod over his face. And do I throw anything away? Kind of like keeping everything because then my next turn can either be Albi Sage Roar or Shiro Martyrdom. I don't really like the Martyrdom because I feel like we're going to win the game if we just keep applying pressure, but let's do that. We're playing around Warbird, which is, I gotta say, a rarity for me. I feel like no one plays into Warbird directly more than me. All right. Um, and I apologize for the new music in the background. I just, the last video I recorded for Eternal, the music way overshadowed my voice. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and ignore that for a while. Okay, no. Warbird, huh? So be it. Oh man, I'm really tempted to get rid of this martyrdom. It's just not going to be very good. So I could play, move this here. I get, I'd have to put it here. So I have to roar before I attack, but I could hit here. Why am I even attacking this? I'm at 16. So I attack for 8, 9, 10, put him to 10, and I've got a big old dude on the board. I could get rid of Martyrdom. It's it's so excessive. Or not excessive, but it it gives him a lot of life, and I don't want to give him life. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to get rid of this Blood Tear Alchemist. Let's play this guy. I'm going to roar here. I'm going to attack here. Come here and attack. And then I'm going to come here and attack. Uh, and the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want him to be able to put something here that affects all three of my guys. Um, Additionally, I'm staying here in this middle row because I don't want to get blown out by Avalanche. I don't think I couldn't prevent him from getting hit by Avalanche, so what can you do? He's coming up to me. Frostfire on his crystal wisp. Okay. I guess he's gonna come kill the dagger Kiri, or at least he should. Yeah. He's still down to two cards in his hand, though. And I've got a 4-6. Okay. I don't know if that was wise, but... My plan here is likely going to be Silver Guard Dite, Shiro Puppy Dragon, Roar. I could get rid of this Sapphire Seer. Sanguinar, Shiro Puppy Dragon, Roar. Is that better? I think I'd like to provoke unit. I don't want him to attack me. I'm going to move here so I don't get hit by uh, by any of by him or none of my guys get hit by Warber. I'm going to put this here. Yeah, I, Sanguinar might have, might be the right play, but this also just keeps him stuck here, too. Uh, and I think I'm going to use it on Shiro Puppy Dragon, just to, <laughs> just to increase my threat portfolio. Because, like, let's be real, he's probably dead here. He's got two cards in hand, and we're at ten life now. So he needs, like, something pretty good here. Aspect of the Mountain would maybe do it. Well, as much as I love Storm Metal Golem, I don't think that that is going to save the day. 
Um, sorry, Dragonflame Gold. Maybe next time. Well, I can hit here and then play this Sunset Paragon. My guy will die. This thing will die. Then I can come up and hit. <laughs> Hooray! We did it. All right. Good for us. Let's go on. Ah, I love this. No having to edit out these stupid uh, waiting periods. Good queue times. Bingo, bango. Probably don't need this Divine Bond again. We throw this back every time, but I promise it's a good card. Uh, I'm going to keep this Sky Burial. I could have something super annoying like a uh, Blood Moon Priestess. I don't know. And I'm going to keep the Skywing just in case my Veil Hunter dies. Is this good? This card is so garbage. All right. On guard. Do I want to keep any of these? I'll keep them all. Ooh. Double trouble. What's up with the contrast, by the way? So, like, look at this Albi Sage, and then look at this Albi Sage. This one is vastly more contrast. I wonder why that is. Golden Mantella. I'm Mantella knew the truth. All right. So I come up here, hit this. Ubu will hit me. I can shoot Ubu with the Veil Hunter to kill it. And then what do I want to do with my mana? I think I'm going to keep this. Just in case. Now nah, it's too early. I can get rid of this guy. I can get rid of that. Does that change my plan? Nope. I'm just going to put this guy back here. Come up, hit this thing. Come back here. Shoot this guy. So I'm moving this Veil Hunter here. So that I can come up and take this mana spring if need be. Uh, but he also can't like come forward and maw it or dispel it or something like that. Hey, there we go. Goal of Metallurgist. Yeah, we are down to 19. But we do have board presence. So that is paramount to me. Plus roar on this Veil Hunter is just going to be unfair. This Veil Hunter could potentially be doing 4 damage a turn from here on out. All right. Yep. Nasher. Uh, sphere of darkness on my guy. Okay. That's kind of annoying. That's kind of annoying. Uh, I feel like we're almost certainly playing um, this Arrow Whistler. And the question is where? Uh, I'll probably just use the Sky Skywing to take out his stupid Nasher. <laughs> Alternatively, I could put... Arrow Whistler up here, come fly here, move here, here, roar this guy, shoot this thing. Kind of like that better. Yeah, I kind of like that better. So let's do this. Means we still have our flying thing. We're we're doing 
I don't know, we're setting ourselves up a little bit better. I, I just want to keep my range units safe. And so if I were to come up here and put the arrow whistler here, it could more easily die to something. Now this one's sort of in danger of being like attacked or not attacked, but uh, like Maw could take care of this. But uh, at the end of the day, he'll get to it eventually. So what'll it be? Cryptographer. Oh, snap. Holy cats. <laughs> Man, he is getting aggressive with those hits. What do we do here? What do we do here? Probably get rid of this golem metallurgist. It's uh, not really necessary right now. All right, I'm going to move here. I'm going to move my general here and attack this. So I, I like to keep the board clear if I can. Uh, nothing spells disaster quite like um, him having a bunch of units. So what do we want to do here? I guess I could attack him for nine, which is a lot, but that's not really what I want to be doing, I don't think. I'll probably just play the Sapphire Seer and the Maw to kill off all of his guys. So I can shoot two of them. Maw here, this here, this here, this here. So I'm sort of, um, he has Breath of the Unborn. That's a little unfortunate. But I think I like putting this here so he can't get over here to like place any like he can't light bender this guy, right? Spectral blade. Okay. Spectral blade is going to die. I am at ten though, which is a scary number to be at. But he largely has not done anything too scary so i don't know if he has like a spectral revenant we might be in we might be in a little bit of a pickle but otherwise i think we're fine probably need to get rid of one of these guys another cryptographer okay well what can you do so i think i want the Skywind to take care of the 2-2. Two, two. This guy to take care of one of the 1-1s. One, Me to take care of another one of the 1-1s. One, uh, and then these three guys to clear this thing. And then I'm going to play my Silver Guard Knight. Could play this big old beater, though. I like the Silver Guard Knight because it keeps things in check, right? Makes it so he can't move. Guess I move here. And the question here really is, what do I do? I need to play this, or is it better just to play the Storm Metal Golem? Like, what can he do? He has a... How can he deal seven to me right here? The answer is, I don't think he can. I think I'd rather just do this. Uh, yeah, I think that's a better attack. Because, like... Man, was he almost dead? Could I have killed him? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... No, I could have put him to two. I didn't even think about just killing him here. Pulsar Beast, okay. I'm still at nine. He'd have to do a lot of damage to kill me. So he'd have to get seven points of burst somehow with four mana. That's pretty, That's yeah, I don't think that's happening. All right, I guess I'll do another one since that first battle was so short. Okie dokie. Alright, you're a little bit 
bit beefy. What else do I want to do? Probably, probably donate a martyrdom right away. Especially since we've got this uh, 3 3 flyer. We can just swoop in, get it, whatever he plays. Nothing. Hmm? Okay. All right. Do I want to get rid of anything? Kind of like Skywing because it sort of ensures that I'll definitely get five mana this next turn. And I like everything else. Oh, yeah. I turn off the sound on my phone. Elk Owl. <laughs> well, this guy just kills Elk Owl, dummy. What is it? Blast and Rebirth? You gotta be kidding me. Blast and Rebirth. What? That's stupid. Well, I've gotta kill it. If it didn't have Rebirth, like... What was this plan here? I can maw it, but does that matter? You can just trade it with my three, my three one. I can't let it survive. So like, first things first, this has to come up here, right? Then what? I kind of don't mind if he just trades here. Like, I, I don't think it matters. I don't want to get rid of this guy. Yeah, I don't love this play, but it stops his guy from rebirthing. Um, gives it stops him from getting this mana and lets me like use these two guys to pick off uh, other stuff. And also, if he has a removal spell, I think he's more inclined to use it now, leaving these two beefier guys uh, less likely to be removed. He could potentially have seven mana next turn, which would be super cool. All right. And feeble. Bingo. That seemed like sort of a waste of an enfeeble. Uh, but who am I to judge? All right, what's better? Uh, he warbirded me, right? All right, that means I don't have to play around that. That's great to know. Could come up here, take this, move here, move here, put a five drop here and roar it, and I keep this for next turn. That's not bad. Uh, probably get rid of the Sapphire Seer. Is it better than these things? Radiant Dragoon is pretty good too. Put this here. I think I just want this out. The question is what do I play here? I kind of like Dagger Kiri. Like, this guy is going to do a lot of damage. He could have an answer for it, but that's fine. And we're blocking off his access to this mana spring, so we'll almost certainly get it next turn, which is nice. Man, the hit's just going to keep on coming here.
He's pretty close to dead. I could potentially put him to four life next turn. Six life, I lied. There we go, Lion again. Probably get rid of the... That's fine, yeah. So that's... Uh, I played this guy out just in case he had, like, a Chromatic Hold. It still becomes a 2-6 rather than a 0-6, right? I think that's fine. All right. Um... <laughs> I think I'm going to get rid of this Radiant Dragoon. I want to play both the Veil Hunter and the Second Sun. He just used a, a a Dispel effect, so I don't... I'd be surprised if we had another one. Um, I'm just trying to think of what the best way to position my minions is right now. I can put the Veil Hunter here. Come here, come here, come here. Then play Second Sun here, or here. I like that. Uh, this way he can't come. I'm going to leave this guy alive. The question is, I will attack here, though. I will attack here. Where do I put the Second Sun? I can put it right here. Put it right here. Right there. And uh, he's pretty close to dying here. Like if this even if this guy gets killed, he's gonna take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So pretty close to dying. Like I potentially should not have put it right here to play around like a sunset paragon or something, but I think I'm fine with that. If I had put it here, then uh, he could move here and I couldn't reach it. If I put it here, it gets warbirded. And if I put it here, he could move there and I couldn't reach it. So I wanted it to be in his face. Pop. All right, well, we've got to deal with something. Flash freeze. Okay. Warbird, okay. Is he dead? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, seven, eight. And we're so close to being able to kill this guy with just our archer. I think the obvious play here is just play the Storm Metal Golem. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe I could replace Arrow Whistler uh, just to find Divine Bond and win, but I think it's just a better play to do this. All right, so we roar this guy. We shoot this. We kill this. Let me put Storm Metal Golem right here. And I don't care that he is no longer zealed. I mean, I am at Envision. She is just going to be running away for the foreseeable future. Ooh, this is a nice game seven life card. That's sort of what I see it turning into. <laughs> Heart Sister. Bone Reaper. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. I just conceded. Okay. Yeah, he was probably dead. <laughs> but I think that was maybe a wee bit premature. Okay, uh, I'm going to, I guess, cut it here and then 
have it start again in game number five.